America Ferreira's character in Dumb Money is based on a few real-life investors in the unprecedented GameStop short squeeze that took place in 2020 and 2021. Ferreira, known for her performances in Ugly Betty, Superstore, and Barbie, portrays Jenny Campbell in Dumb Money, one of the many online retail investors and followers of Keith Gill. Gill, also known by his online alias Roaring Kitty, is the subject and protagonist of Craig Gillespie's film that centers on the remarkable David vs. Goliath story spearheaded by the Reddit investment community Wall Street Bets. Ferreira's Jenny Campbell is one of several characters that were inspired by actual people but were altered and combined with characteristics of others involved in the GME short squeeze. Campbell is a hard-working first responder who comes across Gill's videos on social media and decides to personally invest in GameStop stocks based on Gill's theories. While Jenny Campbell is representative of some of the real-life GameStop investors, she is actually a mix of more than one person and, as a whole, is a somewhat fictional representation in Dumb Money, which is streaming now. America Ferreira's Dumb Money character is based on several real-life GameStop investors. Jenny Campbell is partially based on Kim Campbell, a real-life nurse and GameStop retail investor who was chronicled in Ben Mesrich's book, The Antisocial Network. Mesrich notably wrote, The Accidental Billionaires, which was adapted into the 2010 film The Social Network. In reality, Kim Campbell is a nurse at the Davis Center of Psychiatric Medicine living in Los Angeles. Kim's investment in GameStop rose to as much as roughly $50,000 whereas Jenny's financial gains in dumb money soared to upwards of $500,000. The differences between the real-life Kim Campbell and America Ferreira's dumb money character Jenny imply that there were other influences and inspirations involved in the creation of her character. The characters of college students Riri and Harmony were also altered quite drastically from their real-life inspiration, a Duke University student who had made his GameStop investment based on a loan from his father. The key link between the retail investors in Dumb Money, despite not knowing each other in real life, is their mutual allegiance and diamond hands in riding out the unprecedented squeeze for months. What happened to the primary investor who inspired Dumb Money's Jenny Campbell? Dumb Money Shailene Woodley Paul Dano Shailene Woodley and Paul Dano in Dumb Money By the end of Dumb Money, Jenny Campbell is depicted as still holding on to her initial investment but still being in financial debt. It appears that the incredible financial gains she might have made selling at one point are no longer realistic figures. Based on The Antisocial Network, it's not as clear whether the actual Kim Campbell sold at some point or if she continued to hold stock in GameStop to this day. It's also unclear whether Gil eventually sold his shares after the events depicted in Dumb Money even after they were worth as much as $48 million at the peak of the short squeeze.